Power once said, farming looks mighty easy when your plow is a pencil and you're a thousand miles from the cornfield. Now, lately, that pencil has been working overtime. Matt Reeb takes us out to the farm to see what local farmers think about the price of crops shooting up. Jim Nice is a third generation farmer. Along with his father and two brothers, he plans to plant close to 4,000 acres of row crops in rural Douglas County. And for good reason. The price of a bushel of corn is nearing $8, close to twice the price a year ago. But that's not the only commodity that's rising. Cattle is also nearing record prices. I've never really seen where both of them have been high like that. Usually, one's high and one's low. And that's a good thing for Nice. While some of his neighbors are looking at the markets and debating which one to be in, Nice also owns 300 calf cow pairs and recently seen their price move from $800 a pair to close to 2000 The grain price and cattle price increase can be attributed to the economic downturn and drought from a couple years ago. When the drought hit, cattle ranchers couldn't afford to keep the herd because at the same time, a lot of corn crops were being dedicated to making ethanol driving up the price of feed. A little bit south of here and a little bit west of here, there's a lot more pasture land, and you're seeing a lot of it being tore up and going into row crop. Nice doesn't plan to change his ratio of pasture versus cropland because being a third generation farmer, one of the first things he learned was diversification. By having some of each, he says he might not get rich, but he won't lose it all if the bottom falls out. Matt Reeb, NBC Action News. Now, even with the high prices, Nice says at the end of the year, he probably won't see a big profit. That's because the price per acre to farm is keeping pace with the amount of money he earns when he sells.